Hi guys, welcome back to DAT. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at how we can bind the Emacs Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2 with the jumper T light. So stay there. So if you've got your brand new jumper T-Lite and you're excited to get out and you've got a Freestyle 2 as well, and this is a great controller by the way guys, really do recommend this one, it's really nice, really 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 nice. I've done another video on how you can actually set up a full model and how you set up your switches and stuff, so this is basically just going to be the binding procedure for your Tiny Hawk 2 Freestyle. So let's zoom in so you can actually see what we're doing on this controller. Move the tiny hook out of the way. Sorry about the camera wobble. So power on your jumper T light. Like I said, please do check out the other video for setting up switches and everything like that. So there's one model in here and we're basically gonna duplicate this model. So press and hold, press again. We're gonna copy the model we're going to scroll down, we're going to enter and place it right there. So we're going to enter again, enter to select that model, and we are now in the duplicated model. So we've entered there, we're in page one, scroll over is page two, and we're going to change the name so we know exactly what we are doing here or which model we're in. So enter to the race, and we are going to call it We're going to call it freestyle or just free, maybe. And there we go, free. So we're going to call it free for freestyle, and that is it. So basically what we've done there, we've duplicated a model that we've already set up. So if you check out the video on how to set a model, you can, you can duplicate your models that you've got, so basically you don't have to go through the same process of setting up switches. So I only need so many switches, and it's done in that one model, and I just keep on duplicating the model for different ones. So that is basically ready to go. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get the Tiny Hawk, and we're gonna put her into actual bind mode. So let's move this out of the way. I'm gonna have to zoom out just a tiny bit so you can see. Batteries into the actual Hawk. You should have your props off for this, guys. I am risking my life. Please don't be me. Now the button that we want, the button for binding, is actually on the bottom. Don't get confused with pressing the button here on the top, because it is not that button. It is right here. Under here. Hopefully you can see that just there, that is the button that you want. One press. He says one press, no. One press. And basically what that'll do is that'll give you one a solid blue light with a flashy pink, pinky red light. And that is in bio mode, ready to go. On the controller, now what we need to do, we're still on page two. Let me zoom in a bit so I can keep this all stable. So we're on page two, and the tiny hawk is flashing away here. So we can see the lights going on the hawk as well. I'm gonna try and place the hawk there, so you can see all of that. Page two in the actual menu we just set up. Let's scroll down. And this is where you're in the internal RF. And there is a little bind right here. It says OO, press the over. And we're gonna hit that bind by pressing this enter button here. And that will start this controller chirping or beeping. And that is now communicating. You see all the lights are changing. So that actually just bound absolutely perfectly. So as you can see, they're actually bound perfectly. Um, and I've got, well, this is flashing because it's obviously too close. If your controller's too close, it will actually tell you and stop working. 
So you can see that it's bound absolutely perfectly because I've got a solid blue light. I did have a little indication saying that there was a little problem, and I know what that was. My When I actually bound it, my arm switch was on. So make sure your arm switch is off and stuff like that. So to show you that that actually works perfectly, I am going to arm it and de-arm it because it's got props on. So ready? Armed perfectly. If you've got another issue you might have are your stick positions. Your stick positions might be out of whack. And if they are, please check out my other video and that will show you how to get those into the correct places for you. There's another way that I want to show you now. I want to show you if you're having problems uh, trying to actually bind this, there is another way you can do this. You can put the actual quad into bind mode in the CLI in Betaflight. And we're going to do that right now. So this is quite a nice little way to actually do this in Betaflight in the CLI command because you don't actually need to connect the batteries up so it's a lot safer to actually do. So connect up with your standard USB cable, plug her in, and because the USB will actually, actually powers the receiver, so your receiver is actually going, and because of that, we can get ourselves into Betaflight, connect up, over to the CLI, and in here, we are just going to type bind underscore rx. And when we hit enter, the blue light is going to stop flashing and go solid. And it's going to leave us with a solid blue light and a flashy pinky red light. And that is in the bind mode. So press enter. You see on screen, it says binding. And on here, it has gone solid blue with a red. And that is in perfect bind mode. So that is safe as anything, so you could probably leave the props on to do that as well. No problems at all. And then just over to your controller, find that button again, press bind. I've already bound it up, so I can't show you that process now. Very simple, very easy to do. The actual CLI command is probably my preferred way of doing this. Very simple. There you go, guys. That was my little video on how to bind up the Emacs Tiny Hook Freestyle 2 with the Jumper T-Lite. It's a great radio. It's a great little quad. Go out and get some, you'll definitely enjoy them. That's it guys, thanks a lot for sticking around. Hit that subscribe, smash that thumbs up. Let's keep on doing these. Cheers guys.